Good morning, guys. So, I want to share out of the book of Genesis this morning, chapter 45, and I'm going to read verses 4 through 8. Then Joseph said to his brothers, Please come closer to me. And they came closer, and he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt. Now do not be grieved or angry with yourselves because you sold me here, for God sent me before you to preserve life. For the famine has been in the land these two years, and there are still five years in which there will be neither plowing nor harvesting. God sent me before you to preserve for you a remnant in the earth and to keep you alive by a great deliverance. Now therefore it is it was not you who sent me here, but God, and he has made me a father to Pharaoh, and lord of all his household, and ruler over all the land of Egypt. So, <clears throat> this, of course, is a story when Joseph finally reveals himself to his brothers, um, who actually was sent down to buy grain from Egypt, because uh, Jacob had heard that that Egypt had plenty of food and that they were selling grain during this harvest and, and this famine was everywhere. So, but the reason why I wanted to share that bit of the story where Joseph reveals himself to his brothers is because Joseph saw the big, the big picture. He was not angry with his brothers at all because he got what God was doing. He understood that God had a purpose for him to be there. And you know he understood and knew and believed this simply because he said it three times to his brothers, sorry, three times to his brothers that God had sent him there. It wasn't because they sold him to slavery. It's because God wanted him there, you know, to preserve life. Um, and then to preserve a remnant for them, which give them a place to where um, the, the Israelite people can thrive. And third was he made him ruler over a ruler over. A foreign land, essentially. I mean, the only person above Joseph at this time was the Pharaoh. Joseph was number two. He was whatever Joseph said went. And um, he was very successful for Pharaoh and, and for the land of Egypt. So um, Pharaoh highly trusted Joseph. But, like I said, the, the important thing I wanted to share this morning out of this was that Joseph saw the big picture. He saw, he completely saw God's plan for him and why he was sent to Egypt through the selling of himself by his brothers. But, in the end, he understood what God was doing in his life. And that's such a blessing to be able to know exactly what your place is in your life. Um, and um, <clears throat> sometimes it takes a long time to figure that out. And sometimes it's hard to see the big picture um, at first. Um, but when you do, hopefully we'll be like Joseph and we'll be saying it over and over again. You know, God sent me here for a reason. God did this for a reason. <clears throat> and by knowing that it was God's plan, Joseph was not at all bitter or angry with his brothers for the past at all. Because Joseph completely understood that. I hope you have a blessed day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.